Peace be with you. I am Father Joel Aquino. Please join me every Tuesday at 7 in the evening Pacific Time and 10 in the evening Eastern Time for an hour of conversations about Word of God and our Christian mission in relation to the many issues that we are facing today through Servants on Air here at PHLV Radio. Please download the PHLV Radio app from the Apple Store and Google Play where we will have a wide ranging and honest discussions on such topics, especially on Christian faith and relationships. We will also be hearing experiences with God from our brothers and sisters, and hopefully this will enlighten us as to live out our day-to-day -day Christian life. This is Servants on Air, an hour of conversation about the Word of God and our Christian mission in relation to the issues we are facing today, Christian faith and relationships, and experiences. Servants on Air with Father Joel Aquino on PHLV Radio. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 9, verses 32 to 38. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisee said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborer for his harvest. My dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. In the gospel today, Jesus is quite zealous for the souls. Zeal is an energy, a passion, and a drive to accomplish some task. The task that Jesus was zealous for was the conversion of every heart that he encountered. Remember his mission? He wants to bring us back to the Father. He is our great mediator. And as he walked from town to town, encountering person after person, Jesus could see into their hearts their trouble, their sickness, their needs. If Jesus is truly physically present today, he would probably be visiting California, Amen. Nevada, where places that COVID-19 are rampant, even to the Philippines, to India. He can go everywhere into whatever places that is in need of God's healing, deliverance, and order. Because Jesus could see into our hearts. He could see the hearts of his people. When we look at the gospel, Jesus saw that so many people were troubled and abandoned. He could see that they were like sheep without a shepherd. And this moved him to compassion 
with the zeal to become their shepherd, to remove their trouble from their hearts and to let them know that they are invited to belong to His kingdom, to let them know that they are loved by God, to let them know that God is one with them, that He is not the God who is far and distant, but the God who loves His people. In fact, the very life of Jesus tells us of this great God who accompanied His people. That's the reason why He embraced the cross. To let us know that our suffering is His suffering. That our pain is His pain. My dear friends, the image of Jesus encountering numerous people who were troubled and abandoned is a good image to ponder because that is the true image of our divine God, full of love, mercy, and compassion. The reason is that this is us too. It tells us about our situation, even in our time. We are troubled. We are abandoned. And we feel that way in so many occasions and situations of life. In each one of us, we have our own interior troubles. We can feel alone. We feel confused. We feel Sometimes we are uncertain of so many things and lost at times. And I am not exempted from that. Even myself as a priest, I do feel that. The person who doesn't feel this way is either a perfect saint <laughs> or probably the person is not honest with himself. The truth is, that is our situation. Even in our time today we have that that's our struggle my dear friends let us understand that deep holiness and union with God does of course cure this interior struggle here comes the power of prayer where you and I can be in communion with the Lord Prayer is an expression of our deepest desire to live a holy life, to be in communion with God. The, the, the conversation alone cures this inner struggle in our hearts. This interior struggle of being troubled, confused, and lost in this life. In that case, my dear friends, the person clearly knows that they belong to the family of God. We truly belong to God's family. And with this, we find deep peace in this truth that being with God and in God and for God allows us to experience peace in our hearts despite the trouble and disorder and the problems that we are facing today. This gospel, my dear friends, is for you. It is for you and me. First of all, um, who are these people who are troubled? To be troubled could be caused by so many things. For some people, they struggle with the memories of the past, right? We cannot let go of the, perhaps the failures in the past, broken relationships, our lack of direction, maybe our serious sins before, our anger and hatred towards our family, friends, and community. So the first question to honestly ponder is to whether or not you have a troubled heart. 
Are you keeping a troubled heart these days too? Then find a way to be in the Lord. Because He seeks to see you. He comes to see you. He came for you to be able to find solace and healing. Who are these abandoned? It may not be necessarily that um, your parents abandon you, but oftentimes we feel that in so many ways. Even if your families are complete, right? Yes. Feeling abandoned is a heavy cross in each and every person. The reason Jesus came was to enable us to belong to his family. Like um, even here in the States, right? Yes. Um, we feel that we are complete. Um, we... we <laughs> We uh, try to fulfill our American dream, so to speak. And with all the gadgets we have, we can get in touch with our friends and family. It is just like one click away. We can do video call, uh, mm -hmm. teleconferencing. I mean, it's not uh, impossible at this generation. Yes. On the other hand, we still feel that there is something that is missing in our hearts. We feel that we are lost and abandoned. I don't know why we are having this. Um, it's a great need of every person to belong to a certain family. And, and no one can really fill up that emptiness. You know, St. Augustine allow us to understand that situation when he said my heart is restless until it rests in the Lord that means that we have to allow the Lord we have to allow him to be present in our life Whatever situations you are in, rich and poor, whatever our status, whatever our profession, we need the Lord. Because it is only the Lord who can fill us this great and deepest need of the human heart to belong to a family. And that is exactly accomplished by the gift of eternal salvation which must begin now by receiving the forgiveness of sins and growing in the life of prayer we come to know that god in a very intimate and personal way he is truly with us yes he is the almighty god the creator of all and he is so deeply personal and intimate and he wants you and me to have that intimate real relationship of love with him this is our way to battle this global pandemic these days and if you struggle these days my dear friends of being troubled or being abandoned, consider the zeal that Jesus has for you. He worked 24-7. He tirelessly and extensively seek each and every one of us. His work did not just stop after he died, his work is still present these days. No wonder we can see more and more people who are 
representing the Lord. You know, um, for many people who are uh, sick with the COVID-19 virus, the Lord came to them as a doctor, as a nurse. For people who are hungry, the Lord Jesus came to them as an ordinary person who were sharing their pantry, who were sharing their food and meal. For a wife who is seeking for love, then the Lord comes to you in a form of your husband and children. Or for a husband who is working abroad, who is lonely as well. The Lord comes to you through your wife and children who calls you every now and then through Viber, Facebook, Messenger. He comes to us in different ways, in different forms. It is just that we have to learn how to recognize the voice of God and His presence because He is truly here with us. He is present even to the least of our brethren. Do not forget that. Today, as we look at the gospel from Matthew, we are being reminded of how God is so zealous in seeking His people who are feeling troubled and abandoned. Go and allow yourself to be found by the Lord. Baka naman mamaya, si Lord ang hanap ng hanap sa atin, ikaw naman yung ayaw magpakita sa Kanya. Do not stop believing in the Lord. He comes to you today. Then present yourself. Tell Him, Lord, I am here. I am here, Lord. Speak to me. Lead me. Guide me. Let us pray. Most loving and merciful God, we are so blessed and grateful for sending your son Jesus who seeks out to find his people who are troubled and abandoned because they were like sheep without the shepherd. So much is your love and compassion, dear God, that you even allowed yourself to be crucified with us. You go through pain and death, even in our lowest moments. You never abandon us, even at the time of death and suffering, you are truly present and here with us. Such is your zeal of the mission that the Father has entrusted to you. Lord, in our prayer today, we welcome you. Help us, Lord, to open our hearts to you more and more. Help us to see you, even in moments of difficulties of life. Because with you, we find our God. We can find our healing, our peace, our salvation. Amen.
Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punda. Misyon, kaloob sa aming puso. Aming sarili ay aming handog. Laging tapat at laging tugon. Naririto handa kami, Panginoon. Dako, hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod. Inang Maria, siyang gabay namit tugod, dalaganap alab ng iyong misyon. Ang taong kaya, salamat Good evening, brothers and sisters. We are now here at PHLV Radio. This is Father Joel Aquino once again. And to all our viewers, our followers here at PHLV, magandang gabi po sa lahat. Sa mga kamag-anak ko, (laughs) sa mga brothers ko sa community, sa Pachem missionaries, um, ang mga pare, mga seminarista, mga kaibigan um, all over the world from different places. Good evening, everyone. And I, if you are first time here at PHLV Radio, this is our program, Servants on Air. Ngayong pong gabi, we are so blessed to have a very special guest okay, sent by the Lord. Um, she resides in Los Angeles, California. She is... Uh, an import operations and compliance analyst ng Herbalife International. Wow, parang tunog Miss Universe ang title ng <laughs> ng uh, kanyang ano, ng kanyang uh, work. But aside from that, she has been a sister um, of a community because their community is in Los Angeles Bayon, no? At St. Anthony of Padua Parish. She belongs to the Love and Faith Catholic Charismatic Community. And this lady is an iron lady. <laughs> not in a sense that, uh, not in a wrong sense, but she's an iron lady because she fought a lot of, of battle in her life. 
Mm-hmm. Parang maalala mo kaya <laughs> ang kanyang storya ng kanyang buhay. No? And I've been known this person long time ago. Kaya ako nasabi na Iron Lady ito. Mm-hmm. And one of the beautiful things nga na pwede kong masabi is that how the Lord used her to be his missionary um, in her family and in her community. Um, without further ado, my dear friends, please help me welcome our guest for tonight, Sister Bells Bianes. Yay, Sister Bells. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Father Joel. I like the term, the Iron Lady. Yes, Father, it were to be, uh, you know, said the right word. Iron Lady, still standing. I'm Sister Bells. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good Opo. evening to all the listeners of the PHLB Radio. Uh, I am so blessed to be part of this uh Uh, you know, mission of Father Joe. Amen. Amen. Ako, so Sister Bells, batiin nyo nga yung inyong mga apo. Oh, um, yeah. Family, baka nakikinig sila ngayon. <laughs> to my family in the Philippines, in Pilar Village, Las Piñas. Uh, you know, good evening to my seven grandkids. The youngest is uh, four months. Oh, wow. <laughs> And a widow for 22 years. But oh. I'm able to cope up with all the things Trials, responsibility as a widow and a single mom. But wow. mm-hmm. Father Joel knows, um, you know, everything about what I went through, but still standing here because the power <laughs> of God is with us. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. Amen. Well, yeah, thank and you so much. I've no. been in, in the community of Love and Faith for 10 years or more. I'm, mm. I ha- I'm the social ministry of Love and faith for six years or more too. Mm-hmm. And I'm preparing for my retirement. Oh, it wow. Will be um uh, will it be soon? <laughs> yeah, pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Will be a Medicare recipient this year. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But you're not retiring from your mission, uh oh no, that will for be the Lord, the, right? Yeah, no, that's the gonna be the beginning, Father. Oh wow. Kasi magiging full time ka na. Full time. Amen, no? I have my family with me and we have our mission and vision. That's mm. when I retire. That's why, Father, I will be more busier mm. uh, when I retire because I have a lot of mission to do. Wow. Nako. Um, so, ano bang ba dapat ano yun? Congratulations, no? Sis, ganun ba ang greeting dapat, di ba? Pag yung retirement. Congratulations. May pink slip and, na ako. Oh. <laughs> Later so, on. Parang hindi ka pa naman mukhang magre-retire, Sister Bess. So, <laughs> yeah, full retire. Ano ba ang sikreto ninyo, no? Ay, yung trials ko, Father. I con- Ito talaga. Tignan nyo nga naman, no? Sikreto <laughs> niyo yung trials. <laughs> trials. Ano ba ang every time, sa inyo? <laughs> oh yeah, every time there was a guy who asked me, why you look so young? Not not because I am a Filipino, because mm-hmm. it runs on our genes as Filipino. Opo younger but then i said i just point her out they don't know my what i've been through Opo. but honestly father uh di nga nila alam eh pag nakikita daw nila ako hindi mo naman yan pinagdaanan no you're wrong <laughs> god is with me all this time opo tama yun no akala natin yung tao no na parang simple lang mm-hmm. akala natin na wala siyang problema but You know, deep inside, um, if kung mabigilan tayo ng pagkakataon na makilala yung tao, sus, ang dami rin niyang pinagdadaanan. Mm-hmm. Tama ka, Father. Kulang nga ang maalaala mo. Isang, li- <laughs> isang pelikula, may part two pa. <laughs> opo, opo. Now, being part of the community, Sister Bells, how did you cope up with the many difficulties Especially no nag-start yung pandemic. Actually, Father, uh, yeah, uh, ang nangyari sa amin as a community, we became closer because mm. in spite of the pandemic, mm-hmm. uh, we 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 have our prayer meeting every night at wow. 
before we used to see each other Saturday. Once a week lang. Yes. Uh, oh, once a week <laughs> lang. But this time since the pandemic started last month, we see each other via Zoom and we are mm-hmm. thankful for this technology. Mm-hmm. As we pray together, mm-hmm. uh, the Holy Rosary, the Divine Mercy. Wow. We also have our, uh, you know, we we put the church inside the community. Wow. Mm-hmm. And uh, in, in we have our uh, gospel reading and reflection. Mm-hmm. Also our final blessing and absolution done by our dear father, Ben. Mm-hmm. Who is your spiritual director? Right? No, actually, Father Ben is the sis- a brother of uh, Sister Bridget. Mm-hmm. Uh, so ngayon parang siya na yung father ng love and faith community. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Never siyang na late every day mm-hmm. dun siya father. And mm-hmm. he's 82 years old. 83 na ata si father. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but and we are so blessed because we bonded together through our prayers. We have mm-hmm. different uh, groups. We mm-hmm. we we pray our novena every Wednesday. Mm-hmm. have our own uh you know group that uh, selected the uh, group the pray together who are the mm-hmm. leaders every every day there are different groups mm-hmm. uh, you know it's not only for us as members but it's extended to our family friends who prayed with us mm. have our testimonies as usual that we do on Saturdays wow. and also on Saturdays and We we receive a lot of uh, prayer requests, Father. Mm. A lot of uh, frustrations, financial difficulties, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and spiritual, uh, you know, warfare and everything. Mm-hmm. And God is good because in our prayers, in our intercessory, mm-hmm. a lot of answered prayers. Wow, praise God. We have a lot of answered prayers. Mm-hmm. An example is. Uh, We prayed for, uh, you know, a, a, a couple who wants mm-hmm. to have a baby. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. She she cannot have a baby. for She's 36 years old. Mm-hmm. Then, after three months, after mm-hmm. for her, she's now pregnant. Wow. So, there's a lot of recipients of our prayers. We storm heaven because we have our interest. Amen. We, That we is pray. also based from the scripture. Uh, yes, the word Father. of God says, when two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. And because the Lord is present, yeah. uh, things that we desire, it will surely be blessed by the Lord. Yes, Father. Kung hindi man mangyari yun, well, we have to wait for God's perfect time. Right, 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 Father. <laughs> And also, Father, uh, you know, uh, Um, the only thing that uh, we are uh, missing during the pandemic is mm. physical connection. Mm. We, we, you know how charismatics are. We yeah. hug, we, we make beso beso, <laughs> chica chica oh. personally. That's one thing we miss. Because it's, it's also, you know, touching is part of, mm. you know, letting people know how you love, mm. how, how you treasure them, how you cherish mm. the. The you know being a family, so the thing that we miss on this pandemic, but thing else, Father, we are the love and faith community is so blessed that we are bonded together every day. Wow, amen. Wow, amen. imagine you every day, you every the... day, yeah, more than a year now, Father, since wow. March last year. Ngayon pa ba hindi hindi pa allowed yung like physical na prayer meetings at church? Uh, hindi pa kami nabibigyan ng instruction to be. Oh, I see. So mm. we're still waiting for further instruction. We know the mm. uh, mandated by the Archdiocese and also by yeah, our, the Archdiocese of the Los Pastor Angeles. Yes. Opo, opo. So, yung community po, kumusta na? May mga nagkasakit ba ng COVID sa community? Uh, so far, wala naman na kung wow. meron father, meron. Mm. Mm-hmm. Actually, isa yun sa isa na, na, na pinagluksa namin but we, I see. The, the gift of life. Mm-hmm. Uh, si Sister Esther Tinebro, you know her father. Mm-hmm. At, 
Uh, but meron din kasi siyang underlining sickness. Sickness. Mm-hmm. One year na rin siya, last, last June. So, mm-hmm. we, we were there with her. We, we prayed for her. Nasa hospital bed siya. We mm-hmm. prayed for her. And the family is attending our prayer meeting. Prayer and, meeting. Okay. Yeah. Naku, yeah. Kung, brothers and sisters who are joining us here at Servants on Air, napakasaya po ng Love and Faith Community. Uh, nasa ano sila ngayon nasa St. Anthony of Padua oh, Parish saan nga ito na area sa Los Angeles Gardena, California Father Gardena yes. yeah. and this uh, community is gifted with music with uh, um, teaching ministry no? tsaka kumakata din kayo di ba? Sa, yes we have our praise and worship Father opo. tsaka sa yeah. Misa di ba? even before the yeah pandemic, we are the, we are the, the choir, choir. Yeah, oh, for oh, 7.30 a.m. mass. But since we are limited only for two or three people to do the the, the contour lang, so oh. it's not the choir, but... Mm. Or in then the, you're also like serving the parish as lectors, right? Yeah, lectors, Eucharistic ministers. Ministers, wow. So, yeah, so, so yeah. these things keeps you really busy. No? Yes, Father. Bilang, it's never ending. Oh, po, oh. The Lord and serving the community. Oh, kung ganito yung mga activities natin, talagang babata tayo. <laughs> Saka yung whatever trials, Father, uh, in, parang it, 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 it's not a big deal anymore because we know how to handle it. Amen. Wow. Ang, ang, ang community namin is our uh, is our servant. Kung bag- mm-hmm yung kanilang uh, ship so wow well thank you no for the, for sharing that to us sister bells kasi um for many families and communities when the pandemic started hirap na hirap tayo na na you know, ibalik yung yung normal life mm-hmm. kasi nga na bored na yung mga tao Uh, kasi nag-lockdown, um, yung iba na depressed na. But here comes this group, the Love and Faith, yung community po ni Sister Bells, na every day they do intercessory prayers. They do the prayer meeting. That's how they keep their, I would say, their sanity. <laughs> <laughs> the every Saturday. <laughs> oh, oh, biro mo yun. Every day, uh, Father, no, no miss. Oh, wow. Yeah, n- oh. N- nothing. No so. wonder mm-hmm. yung feeling troubled and mm-hmm. feeling abandoned na diniscuss ko kanina sa gospel sharing mm-hmm. is really being addressed. It's all because of their intimate desire to be in connection with the Lord. Amen. That's very true, Father. That's really helpful. Thank you so much. See, my dear friends, I encourage you to to uh, deepen your prayer life. No, um, kung wala kayong community, just check your own parishes. Baka may mga charismatic communities jan. If not, well, you can start with your family. No, with your with your spouses and children. At ito nga in connection with that. Eh, hindi lang ito Sister Bell's uh, busy sa community niya but she is as well busy with a prayer meeting naman with her own family. So yeah. after the prayer meeting with the Love and Faith, the next part <laughs> of her mission, prayer meeting naman with her grandchildren and family. Tell us about that Sister Bell's. Yeah, after our, our prayer meeting with Love and Faith community, Uh, ano naman ako sa 9 o'clock na prayer meeting na. Wow, parang lagari. Yeah, every <laughs> every day din yung fathers. Every day din. Oh yeah, since nag-lockdown, so more than a year na rin kami. It's just simultaneous with the love and faith uh, when it started. Kami rin nag wow. And uh, this is my mission also for my family. Mm-hmm. Even my seven, six, seven years old, are praying the Divine Mercy, the Holy Rose. Wow, in fact, uh, yesterday, they attend, They were the one of the prayer leaders sa uh, Love and Faith community. Mm-hmm. And, you know, my, my son is from Singapore. Mm-hmm. 
uh, you know, uh, I am in the U.S. and my family, my 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 daughter and her kids are in the in Manila. So we we connect by uh, messenger. <laughs> Messenger, oh, wow. oh, <laughs> yeah, really. and I have elected uh, my my two granddaughters, sixteen years, seventeen years old, and nineteen years old, to be the prayer leaders. Wow! Okay. So they they if if ever I I'm the if moderator ako sa love and faith, and I cannot leave the the, the love and faith. They already starting the prayer, and I <laughs> also the list of prayer intentions. We wow. all, Pray for intentions that our friends are requesting. Wow, so, galing, no? There, there are, there's a lot of, you know, miracles. Amen. Uh -huh. At saka yung nabuo ninyong banding, despite... Yeah, the, yung banding no? father, yeah. saka uh, ito siguro yung legacy ng iiwanan ko sa family ko is mm -hmm. they are even more closer to God. And in fact... Uh, my 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 other my Kate Zaira, mm -hmm. mom because she's also serving in the in their community so church, oh, wow. uh, she's one of the lectors and she's a catechist too wow. and, yeah and she said mama they call me mama i don't want to be called lola so <laughs> <laughs> they call me mama uh are, you know because of the pandemic so are we going to do the mission as well? Do what are we going to do? Uh, and she planned. We plan to do and um, build an extension of love mm -hmm. community in our own community in the Philippines. Wow. So we will do our uh, we will do our catechists, reaching out to people, which is uh, the reason why we are in the pandemic to know more. Mm -hmm. God and that's the reason why my pati yung the yung little ones ko mm -hmm. amazing amazing ang faith ni love father that mm -hmm. I have a, a, a little one was mm -hmm. mature and she's mm -hmm. was in danger before but she's mm -hmm. in now through the grace of God she's a miracle baby and uh, the little boy was asking God mm -hmm. in the corner mm -hmm. asking God to heal my ba our baby Sigan. Imagine that wow. this uh, family bonding through uh, through through uh, online prayer mm -hmm. meeting, uh, in spite of the pandemic, they mm -hmm. have a lot. Wow, Praise it's really Jesus. amazing, Father. I cannot I, mm -hmm. I cannot believe it as well. Mm -hmm. God is, is, uh, has his way, and the power Amen. is there. Mm -hmm. Wow. But sabi nga ni Father uh, Patrick Payton, the family that prays together stays together. No, um, Such a beautiful um, thoughts to remember from Father Patrick. Uh, yes. Kasi si, si Lord yung pinaka-binding force ng family. Wala tayong ibang asahan sa situations na ito. Kasi... This pandemic um, has no discrimination. Lahat tinatamaan, no? Yes. Lahat tinatamaan. And, and kapag natamaan tayo, obviously, maraming ang natamaan. And ginagawa niya is sineseparate niya tayo lahat mm. bawat isa. Um, marami ang nadidepress, Marami ang nawawala ng pananalig sa Diyos. Marami ang nade-discourage, nade-disappoint. Marami ang nawawala ng, sa magandang pag-iisip. Uh, even they abandon their faith. Kasi nga, hindi nila lubos maunawaan kung paano nga ba i-handle yung ganitong situation. Now, in your case, Sister Bells, sa family niyo, were were you able to experience difficulties too at this time of pandemic? Uh, meron bang mga, ano ba yung pinakamahirap na situation since nag-start na ito ng pandemic sa family ninyo? Actually, Father, sa totoo lang, I can mm -hmm. complain. Because, <laughs> because uh, you know, this pandemic has great given us great opportunities. Mm -hmm. In fact, during this pandemic, I was able to sell my house and got a new house. Mm. Sabi ko, Lord, ganun mo ko, gamun mo kami kamahal. Kasi mm. 
honestly, mga yung yung naging trial lang sa amin, Father, during the pandemic is yung yung apo ko na pinanganak uh, ng premature. Oh. Uh, pandemic uh, baby pala siya. Pandemic baby siya. <laughs> Yeah, she had uh, this uh, pneumonia when she was born because she's only wow. weeks. Pneumonia, sepsis, wow. uh, uh, problem. Mm-hmm. So we, we are praying. We were praying uh, even in the hospital. Even the doctor were amazed that, uh, you know, we are bonded together, the support that we have for each other. Mm-hmm. Later, uh, nung chinek siya, lahat father wala. Wow. That's why we call her the miracle baby. Because mm. you, when the you know when the doctor check her uh, lungs, it's all white. So you wow. spread out. But when they check her again, it's it's black already. That means to say the pneumonia is gone. So mm. uh, yeah, it's really I, I don't know what to say, Father. But mm. uh, you know, uh, we you know I, I don't see the negativity of pandemic in our life. Mm-hmm. Because I I thought that you know the only thing that I can say is this is uh, the pandemic is also one way of uh, you know you you know choosing what 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 way you want to go the right way or the wrong way mm-hmm. because uh, when you don't trust the Lord mm-hmm. and you just go on a different way that's mm-hmm. where the devil is mm-hmm. so you focus on your faith and your belief that whatever happens god is there with us Amen. trusting the lord with all your heart with all your might Amen. let it flow mm-hmm. how's baby zia now how is she she's very uh doing very well father and in fact she was uh you know she she was dressed up like uh 4th of july yesterday oh, she, wow see the difference because when she was born she looks like a skeleton mm, wow now she, you cannot recognize her anymore butot balat siya no butot wow. balat siya but now she is fat <laughs> <laughs> she looks like my husband <laughs> <laughs> she looks like my looks like Ryan uh. That's why my my son Ryan is very you know it's like a father to the family. He's the oh, oh so good. Oh, yung, yung ganun situation sa family pag mayroong isang nakaka problema. Totoo ba yun na naapektuhan lahat? Ah, uh, kasi father, uh, you you have to be a pillar to the family. You have to 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 give them the strength to show them the strength. Kasi pag ang isa e eh, medyo mahina at mm-hmm. Ayihina rin. You, uh-huh. to, you know, you have to be the support and pray uh-huh. and uh, don't show your weaknesses to them. Mm-hmm. Pero deep inside, we know na naapektuhan tayo. Naapektuhan tayo. Kayo ang tumayo na nanay at tatay. Yeah. <laughs> Kaya nga sa akin, uh, you know, they are, I don't know where I got my strength, Father, really. Mm-hmm. Iron Lady. <laughs> so, you know, that's very true dahil sobrang hindi nila alam ko ano yung hirap ko when mm-hmm. I but I am here in America because through the grace of God mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, I, I I I cannot I cannot thank God enough because mm-hmm. na they don't know. They don't know na yung hirap ko alam nila pero they don't know the you know even the itchy bitchy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> of the, the you know the struggles that you have start especially when you're starting here in yes. the US mm-hmm. it's not that easy to mm-hmm. establish yourself but mm-hmm. then through the grace of God but mm-hmm. so father in in addition to that when i started the uh, uh, joining love and faith community mm-hmm. everything turned around so nicely through the blessing wow. mm-hmm. yeah Wow, praise Ay, God. kasalanan, <laughs> but mm-hmm. then, through the grace of God and you have mm-hmm. to end and be closer to Him. Opo. Everything. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, meron kayong community and then you have family. Mm-hmm. Um, sobrang, sobrang hirap nung balansehin yung mm-hmm. dalawang mahalagang bagay sa buhay ninyo. Plus, your own self pa, yes. di ba? Kasi you are also working. 
um, ano ang nagbibigay ng lakas sa inyo? Sa lahat ng mga hamon, lahat ng mga problema, lahat ng difficulties na pinagdaanan ninyo, what makes you stronger even more? My faith with mm. the Lord, my strength comes from Him, mm. family, and the people that I've met along the way. Mm. Reach out to them, share my blessing, and share whatever I can. Wow. Ang ganda ng hugot na yun, uh, Sister Bells. Ha? Oo. Um, siguro maraming nakikinig sa atin ng mga nanay din, kamukha ninyo. Um, akala nila na katapusan na, akala nila walang pag-asa, akala nila na walang solusyon ng lahat. Kung, kung meron po kayong mensahe para sa kanila? Uh, yeah. Ano pong mapapayo ninyo sa kanila, sa mga nakikinig sa atin? Actually, uh, ang mapapayo ko is uh, God has always plans for each and every one of us. Mm. We are in pandemic or not. Mm-hmm. To have our faith because and let God do the rest. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, maybe there are times that we cannot get whatever we want at the mm. moment. But God will not give us something that we can't handle. Amen. Because God is the most powerful God. And, you know, since our birth, alam na kung anong destiny natin. So we just have to have faith and just live every moment of our life together with Him. Mm-hmm. We'll always be there in our midst together with our family. Find a community. If you're lonely, find a community just mm-hmm. like me. When I I was struggling, I found love and faith community through mm-hmm. Paris because they were the one who referred me to love and faith. I was looking mm-hmm. community because when I was I had the uh, I had a confession with a priest and he said and he, he knows that I am by myself I don't have my family here except my mom and uh, he mm-hmm. said a community so we, you can be able to uh, you know be uh, more involved mm-hmm. with a lot of things and so you don't have to think about other things just mm-hmm. God wow yeah. thank you for that no, no, you know, Uh, when you were sharing that, I remember um, Martha and Mary. Mm-hmm. Um, magkapatid sila, and they were visited by the Lord. And at the time that Jesus uh, came into their house, Mary sat in front of the Lord. Yes. Hindi na siya umalis dun sa paana ng Panginoon. And then Martha was saying, Lord, do you not care? Mm-hmm. Can you just tell my sister, you know, to help me? You know? And then the Lord Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you are so anxious of so many things. Mm-hmm. There is only one thing that is required. And Mary has chosen the better part. She has chosen the better portion. Yes. And it will not be taken away from her. Mm-hmm. Uh, al- alam niyo po, brothers and sisters who are Uh, listening to us here at Servants on Air. The, the portion that Mary chosen was to be in front of the Lord, to be in the presence of Jesus. Ito po yung sinasabi ni Sister Bells kanina na with all, with all the problems and difficulties we have, Have the time to be in communion with the Lord, to serve the Lord, and to be able to give the Lord the time. Kasi, um, I know that problems will be there, right? Kahit gaano pa ka, kahit gaano pa ka galing natin, mm-hmm. ang problema at difficulties nandiyan yan, hindi yan umaalis. No, we don't have the control of that. On the other hand, we have the control of ourselves how we will be handling these things around us. And one of the the graces that God has given us for us to be able to overcome them is to be in His presence. Amen. Oh. Yan yung sinasabi ni Mr. Bells na 
how she find the Lord in her life, how she get involved to the love and faith community, and that what's give her a sense of purpose and meaning sa buhay niya, her relationship with the Lord. Amen. Oh. At dahil doon, she can attend to all of this. Ang dami-dami niyang ginagawa. But how did she make it? How did she able to have the time to attend to, the, to these needs around her? It's the Lord. Amen. For the Lord, there is no impossible. Amen. All things are possible, are possible in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen, Father. That's <laughs> Thank you, now, Sister Bells, for sharing that. And one last question. Um, we're still, I would say, um, in the tunnel. They say um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. With the recent development of the many people who are vaccinated, um, there is already a decline of like the cases here in the States and some other countries. But still, we are in the tunnel and we are seeing lights already. Mm. What is your prayers and hopes as we face um, this new challenges, this new normal? Actually, uh, Father, my hopes and my, uh, my, my dreams and my prayers is for people to be bonded together, mm. them to realize that it's not in good times or bad times. God is always with them. Mm. See the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. Just be gathered together. Talk to the Lord. Find Him. Those who cannot find the Lord, He's just there. Mm-hmm. So it's the only way for us to be able to what to to solve whatever problems that we have because we will be guided just like now we can see the, the the light of the tunnel that the spark at the end of the tunnel it's sparking mm-hmm. it's just Amen. for us but then we have to do what because this pandemic is also uh, maybe maybe they said it's a creation by God because. We have to know him. Mm-hmm. Just, we have to know him more, mm-hmm. pray more, and listen to him more. Thank you so much, Sister Bells, for the wonderful words of wisdom and for Thank sharing you. a testimony. And truly, my dear friends, brothers and sisters, mission is possible because the Lord has gifted us the grace. We just need to believe and to trust in Him. Amen. 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 Peace be with you. I am Father Joel Aquino. Please join me every Tuesday at 7 in the evening Pacific Time and 10 in the evening Eastern Time for an hour of conversations about Word of God and our Christian mission in relation to the many issues that we are facing today through Servants on Air here at PHLV Radio. Please download the PHLB Radio app from the Apple Store and Google Play where we will have a wide ranging and honest discussions on such topics, especially on Christian faith and relationships. We will also be hearing experiences with God from our brothers and sisters and hopefully this will enlighten us as to live out our day-to-day Christian life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, O praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. Be every moment thine. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. You died, Jesus, but the source of life flowed out for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, immeasurable divine mercy, cover the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. We trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. We trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. We trust in you. My dear friends, brothers and sisters who are joining us here at BHLV Radio, our servants on air, viewers and followers, please offer now your petitions for your family to this first decade of the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy. Let us offer our individual families. I want you to pray for your parents, pray for your spouses, children, grandchildren, in-laws, and relatives, we pray that may our family be strengthened, be stronger than ever, despite this global pandemic. May the grace of God continue to, to fill our hearts with his love, kindness, forgiveness, and unity. We pray as well for all the young couples. We pray for the single parents. We pray for um, children who are uh, deeply distressed because of this pandemic, those who are having issues on their school, um, children and individual or members in our family who are um, emotionally uh, distressed nowadays, those who need God's guidance. And also we remember our um, member of our family who are sick these days. Uh, may the Holy Eucharist, the Blessed Sacrament, Heal and touch them in a very special way. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The second decade of the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy. Let us now offer this for all the poor souls in purgatory, the many people who died because of this COVID-19 pandemic. My dear friends, please recall now, remember now, the members of your family who died, those who have been um, dead for the longest time, um, we ask God to grant them eternal peace. Um, also for the many people who died 
in the tragedy in Florida. There was also a plane crash in the Philippines. Those who died because of violence and armed conflict. People who died because of hate crimes and violence around us. Lord, we pray that may their souls find rest in you to grant them eternal healing and forgiveness. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The third chaplet of the divine mercy. Let us pray for our own conversion and our own ongoing formation. We pray for the many people who are in need of God's guidance, those who are struggling with their faith, those who are lost in their faith, who abandon their faith. May they may be able to return the path towards healing and forgiveness. We ask God these different areas of unbeliefs. We pray that we may be converted to know the Lord to know the Lord more and to be able to love the Lord and eventually serve him. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, let us now offer this fourth decade of the chaplet of the divine mercy for all the doctors, nurses, um, pharmacists, each and every uh, hospital, personnel and staff, those who are um, working in different medical facilities. We pray that may the Lord continue to inspire them and extend these blessings of healing and protection to their loved ones and family. And also, um, if you may, let us pray as well for um, our economic frontliners, those who are um, working in the grocery store, supermarket, um, those who are in, in um, different business, delivering services for our people at this time of global pandemic. And to all the institutions, whether public and private, that uh, may God's spirit continue as well to inspire them so that services may be given to our people who are suffering these days. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The last decade of the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy, we offer to God in a very special way, Sister Bells, her children, her grandchildren, her mom, uh, also the soul of her husband, and the love and faith community, the head servants, the core group, the different ministries, their parish, the um, at St. Anthony of Padua in Gardena. Also, we pray for all the lay leaders in our respective dioceses and parishes. We pray for all the priests and bishops and also the healing of the Pope. Pope Francis, who had just um, finished his uh, surgery. Mm -hmm. May the Lord um, grant him a speedy recovery. We pray as well for all the religious leaders of the different religious organizations, our brothers and sisters um, in uh, in the Islamic communities, Buddhists, and all other uh, religion. May all of them as well be guided by the Lord and that they may work and live out their ministry to serve their people. Also, we pray for all the leaders of nations of each country that all of them as well may work for the common good. We pray for their guidance and God's blessings. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Also, Lord, we pray for each and every person who join us here at PHLV Radio those who have been following us here at Servants on Air program, we pray for their healing, guidance, and blessings. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, King of mercy. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. We trust in you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Most loving God. We thank you for your never-ending love and mercy. 
we thank you for sending Jesus to us for the scripture which we have read and reflected, for the testimony of Sister Bells together with her family and the Love and Faith community. We thank you for PHLV Radio and to all the many people who join us here at Servants on Air. Lord, thank you for making this beautiful night for all of us. And through these presence of the blessed sacrament before us, may you bless the Lord, may you bless Lord the world and our respective families. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Once again, good evening, brothers and sisters here at PHLB Radio. And thank you so much for joining us for another wonderful evening with Sister Bells. Sister Bells. Um, any few words? Paalam na tayo. Father, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be here with you tonight. And I thank each and every one of you. God bless you. And may the Lord be with you always. Thank you for loving me and thank you for the love. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the time. Kasi busy, busy din ito eh. Kasi sabi ko nga sa inyo, brothers and sisters, Iron Lady ito, no? So, lahat ang dami itong ginagawa. But thank you so much for the precious time and hope to invite you once again for another uh, part two of our conversations, Sister Bells. <laughs> Amen. For the Lord, Father, and to, for everyone. All right. So thank you so much, everyone. Uh, once again, this is Father Joel Aquino signing off here at PHLB Radio. Have a good night and see you next week for another Servants on Air. God bless you. God bless, Father. Thank you. Peace be with you. I am Father Joel Aquino. Please join me every Tuesday at 7 in the evening Pacific Time and 10 in the evening Eastern Time for an hour of conversations about Word of God and our Christian mission in relation to the many issues that we are facing today through Servants on Air here at PHLV Radio. Please download the PHLV Radio app from the Apple Store and Google Play where we will have a wide ranging and honest discussions on such topics, especially on Christian faith and relationships. We will also be hearing experiences with God from our brothers and sisters, and hopefully this will enlighten us as to live out our day-to-day -day Christian life.